The summer transfer window is closing in fast. Clubs are getting in their due diligence. They're starting conversations. They're really starting to try and move the needle to get a head start this summer. And a story which I think will be played down by Man United now at every single step. The manager in the club will say he is not for sale. But that is the future of Marcus Rashford. There are talks today that PSG are preparing a £75 million bid to Manchester United, plus are willing to offer the player half a million pound a week to be their Kylian Mbappe replacement this summer. We know Marcus Rashford has been an individual that PSG have longed after for, for a while. They've offered him contracts before. They are desperate to bring him to Paris, to Ligue 1, and to be their star signing and attraction. Now, of course, for a lot of Man United fans that don't like Rashford or want Rashford gone, this is going to be music to their ears. Yes, please, let's get this done. Let's move him on. I don't rate him. He isn't good enough. And there'll be others that see this as one of our star players being sold at the beginning of a rebuild and how in any way, shape or form can this help us? And I'd love to know which camp you personally fall into. There may be other camps since where I sit right now. I know there's a quality player in Rashford. I think he'll leave, go somewhere else and do a fantastic job. Rashford, just like Pogba and many other players at Man United, has fallen fail to how poorly we have been run up until now. We don't know how it's going to go. And I think part of me thinks a move for him personally could be a good thing. But when it comes to what we do as a club, we need to look at the style of football that we're going to play profile of individual players needed to make up that team and then the type of coach we're going to bring in to spearhead this if Rashford is part of that then you don't sell him if you think his mentality can be saved or his mentality is what you need depends on how you view him if he isn't that type of player if he isn't that profile just because he's an academy player just because he's got some star pulling power doesn't mean you keep him so that, for me, is where I see That's the camp I'm in. It's not about a personal vendetta against Rashford. I think that's a little crazy. Equally, I'm not adverse to selling him if it's the best move for the football club. But let me ask you this question now, people. If PSG officially offers £75 million today, would you accept it? Let me know in the comment sections below. Now, Managerial changes this summer could be, there could be a number of clubs, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester United, all looking for new managers. And a story which keeps coming up in the last few days is Roberto De Zerbi is one of the top targets for Chelsea and for Liverpool. And I find that really interesting because Liverpool fans are very, very convinced that they're going to end up with Alonso. And I understand why. There's the connection, Klopp's leaving, Connection to Alonso, Liverpool legend, he'll come to us. It's not a foregone conclusion. Depends on which media outlets you listen to. Depends on what media outlets you believe. A lot in Germany think that he's going to go to Bayern Munich. There are some in Spain that think he may just stay at Bayern Leverkusen and wait for the Real Madrid job to be available. Because even if they win things this year, a lot of people think that Ancelotti is coming towards the end of not just this stint at uh, Real Madrid, but his career as a whole. And of course, if Alonso is tied into contracts at Bayern Munich or Liverpool, it may he may miss out on the opportunity this time round of managing Real Madrid. And there are some outlets that think he is going to become the Liverpool manager. Now, Liverpool are a well-run club. They make mistakes, of course. They don't get everything right. But they have been very well run for a long time now. It's one of the reasons they've been so successful. They cannot go through the summer without having... They can't be in the, in the, pursuit, of, in, in, in the pursuit of a new manager without having backup options. Chelsea, on the other hand, there's a number of their fans that really want the Roberto De Zerbi. Don, who comes on the terrace, he is adamant he is the right individual to start to improve Chelsea. And it's interesting because a year ago, everybody wanted him. A year ago, and right up until maybe two or three months ago, everybody wanted De Zerbi. He was flavor of the month. He was in vogue. He was in fashion. He was everything that was good about young, vibrant, uh, fast-paced forward-thinking, progressive managers in 2023-24. stroke Because of the leaky defence, because they have four or five less points in the league this year, suddenly now he is no longer what anybody wants to have at their football club. Suddenly he is a flash-in-the-pan merchant, no real star quality, and an individual that no big club should take seriously, even though 
the likes of Real Madrid, Barcelona and Manchester City also have him on their shortlists as a potential future manager. But Chelsea fans and Liverpool fans watching, I'd love to get your opinions on this. I'd love to know where you stand on De Zerbi. Now that two days running from the Times and multiple other media outlets, you have been linked to him. Let me know in the comment section below, people. Another really interesting deal to look at in the Premier League as we move to North London is Arsenal have now moved ahead of Chelsea in the race to sign the Napoli striker Victor Oshman. That's according to new reports that have emerged today. And Chelsea fans that I've spoken to still feel very, very confident that they can bring this man in. Ele finishing Even if they finish the season 11th, they still believe they can bring him in. And, and I, I echo that. I think that Chelsea still have that pulling power. They still have the prowess. They still have the fame. Just because it's two poor years, it's not going to undo that all straight away. The Premier League has the money still uh, and the allure that I think, uh, I still think there's an attraction there. But at the same time, that doesn't mean another team in the Premier League cannot come in and shoehorn themselves in in front of you. With Arsenal currently top of the English Premier League in the quarterfinals of the Champions League, we don't know how their season is going to pan out from this stage. But from a competitive point of view, you would think that Arsenal are a much better option right now than Chelsea. Although there are some Chelsea fans who, who do think with two or three experienced players coming in and a new manager, they could be back to challenging very, very quickly. And I suppose that's what Chelsea would have to try and sell to Victor Oshman in that way. But for me, objectively looking at this situation, Arsenal would, this, this is the kind of signing Arsenal need. They need a quality, a top quality bagsman a really good goal scorer, someone that just gives them a very different dynamic up front to what they have now. And that is what Victor Rushman is. He's very different from Gabri uh, Gabby Jesus, very different from Kai Havertz playing in that role. Not too dissimilar from Eddie and Ketia. Before you jump down my throat, I'm not even letting you clip that up. I, I didn't even finish the sentence. I don't mean in terms of star quality, ability and finishing. I'm talking in terms of the type of striker they are. Victor Oshman is just levels upon levels upon levels upon levels better than, when you, than, than Eddie and Ketia could ever dream to be. So this is a real interesting story for me. And I'm very, I wouldn't say excited is, is the wrong word. I'm a Man United fan, but I'm intrigued to see how this one plays out over the course of the summer. Arsenal spent big before. There's, they're going to spend big again. You're looking at 100 to 150 million pounds they're talking about for this individual star striker Gunas let us know. There's also one other link as well that's out there with Arsenal in terms of strikers is a sporting forward Victor Jukerez, who is another, it says here, this is an, this, this article stated that he's a number one target. He has an 85 million pound release clause. And you will see that different, different, outlets will say different people are the number one targets. And I don't think we ever really quite know the full unadulterated truth on that. But this is another really intriguing center forward who, who's just been absolutely ripping up trees this year. Now, he's expensive at 85 million, but substantially cheaper than Victor Osherman. Much, much cheaper. You, you could be talking as much as 60 to 70 million pounds cheaper. If you look at that... It, and is there that much of a difference between the two players? The, the extra goals that Victor Oshman might score, is it worth that extra 50 or 60 million pound when that money could then be invested into another area of the football pitch that could make you a stronger team and have a stronger squad? That's obviously for Arsenal to decide, but I'd love to get your views um, and your opinions on that personally in the comments section below. But it does feel as though a more prolific striker, bagsman, Goal machine is on the agenda for Arsenal this summer as an absolute priority. I still think they need to look at an individual that can really help cover and maybe even challenge Bakayo Saka. And maybe it's Trossard, maybe Gabriel Jesus moves into the more wide areas if they do sign a number nine. But as ever, your views, your opinions mean so much more than what I've got to say. If you haven't done so already, hit the like button, subscribe, leave us your comments below, but also make sure you're following our new channel, the squad. You can see the name and the QR code on the, uh, on the screen. Now give it a scan, go and subscribe to that until next time. Take care. Goodbye. God bless. And I'll see you all again soon. Peace.